Hi guys, I'm Anna with Amp Equestrian and today I'm super excited because we are headed to River Glen. I am taking Jax and Lily. Jax is going to do the intermediate and Lily is going to do the beginner novice. This is Lily's first time going on a long distance trip. It's going to be a 17 hour drive and it's her first time going on a long trip and to a competition this far away. So I'm super excited to see how she does. Um, Fingers crossed, all goes well. Um, we're planning on going back to River Glen with Jax in August in the three star. So I just wanted to have kind of a prep run on him in the intermediate and make sure that he is comfortable with the venue and the cross country course since we've never competed here before. Um, but let's head out to Tennessee and see how this goes. Let's go. Lots of buildings. Good morning, Lily. Lily is eating her breakfast. She's doing good on her first long distance trip, and we are getting close. But we are going to go to Waffle House and get some breakfast for us now. We've got our breakfast. I got the hash brown bowl and a waffle. <laughs> and my mom got her sandwich like she always does. And then the horses are right there. So let's eat. Okay, so we made it to River Glen and these are our two stalls right here. So now it's time to get the stalls ready and get the horses unloaded and give them their hay for the afternoon. So let's get to us unloading. <laughs> our stalls all ready we have shavings and then they have their buckets with water in them and then we've got my trunk is out and they've got little halter and bridle hooks and then this is Jax's stall with his water so now it is time to unload the horses one tip that I think is really helpful is um, every, anytime we go to a horse show, we always get the stalls ready first before we unload the horses. I personally, whenever I go to a hotel, really like that the hotel room is clean and the bed is made and everything is nice. Um, and the horses do as well, having their bedding made and their water all ready for them to where they can just go in and not be messed with at all. Um, and then another thing is you take 
I have my horses that have wraps and all that kind of stuff on them. So I take all that stuff off of them before I put them in the stall so that they don't get a bunch of shavings and everything all on them. As soon as you put them in the stall, you can take their halter off and they can roll and be happy horses. So let's go get those horses off the trailer. Okay, we've got the horses all settled in and everything unloaded. So this is Lily's stall and she has our fun bonnets and our chameleon brow band posters. She's currently looking at the cross country course. And then we have their fans up and our deco pony stall swag with their name plates. And then I've got my trunk and ladder. And then this is Jax's stall with our Forestier saddles. A banner and hello Jackson hi good boy and then he's got his deco pony stall swag and his fan and then we've got our drawers with a bunch of our random stuff in it and their dinner and then this is our little corner here with some fans and then our cooler and the bike and then we've got the stuff to clean the stalls with and then my saddle rack, bridle rack, and their blankets and fly sheets. So now it is time to go take the trailer and drop it. And then we'll, we'll, we will head to the hotel and grab some food. So let's go drop the trailer. Okay, Mom, where are we? <laughs> We're at Perkins. The best restaurant in the entire world. It's my favorite restaurant and there are none in Texas. You can bet your blue boons will be eating here every night, except for tomorrow night, because we're gonna go to the stampede tomorrow night. But every other time we eat Perkins. We have our food. I got the pot roast and mashed potatoes and broccoli. And I also have the strawberry lemonade and they put real strawberries in it, which means it's actually really strawberry lemonade. And this is what my mother got. Is that chicken? No, that's it's turkey. It's turkey and dressing. And then potatoes, potatoes and salad. And then when we eat this, we're gonna get pie. <laughs> I've got my coconut cream pie and we're just waiting on her apple. It's delicious.
Okay, both the horses are all settled in for the night. They've got their fly sheets on. They've got clean stalls, hay, water. And then here's Miss Lily with her fly sheet and her hay bag and then her water buckets and clean stall. Good girl. So we will see y'all in the morning. Okay, so it is Friday morning and we have fed the horses. They're eating their breakfast and we refilled their waters and took their jammies off. And then here's Jackson. Hi, buddy. And so we are gonna go eat some breakfast, but let me just show y'all. So this is River Glen. It is super quiet and peaceful out here. Um, so here's our stalls. And then these are the other barns. And there's another one down there. And then there's another one on the other side of those that's also parallel like that. And then I think you've got show office down there. And then this is the show jumping arena right here. And then on the back side of that, there's a smaller arena down the hill. Um, and you can kind of see it where the two dressage arenas are. And then there's a warm up and then another warm up. And then you have some cross country fences over there and the whole entire field which is really cool. And here you actually gallop through the arenas on cross country and jump jumps inside the arenas, which is really cool. But for now, this is the most gorgeous venue, super quiet and super peaceful. And then there's a bunch of wash racks. And yeah, so that's the venue. So when I tell y'all I'm like obsessed with Perkins, I really mean I'm obsessed with Perkins. <laughs> So this is like our breakfast for this weekend. How do you even open this? No, no, it's like on the side. It's no, yeah. this tab. Yeah, this tab is like. Anyways, yeah, you can see it. So we have two strawberry. Those are the ones with the pink on them, and then the two apple, and then we have two blueberry muffins. Their muffins are like literally the best thing in the world. There are nobody else makes muffins like Perkins does, but yeah, slightly obsessed. Okay, so now we are off to the barn again to go ride um, Lily and Jax and braid, ride them, and then we're going to walk the cross country course, and that's going to be it for us at the barn for today, so let's go ride some horses.
Jackson is all braided and he's getting his final laser treatment from Mother. His little red light lasers. So he's getting all ready for dressage. And then Miss Lily over here is taking a nap. She's also braided and all ready for dressage. She's just She's also already had her laser therapy. You can see her beautiful braids. So, obviously she's just feeling good after her lasers, taking a little rest, getting ready for her big day tomorrow. But it is time to pack everything up and head to the trailer. Okay, so we just went and ate dinner at the Dolly Parton Stampede. It was so fun. Um, obviously, I didn't record any of it because you're not allowed to. Um, but it was so cool. They had a lot of different stuff like pig races and I call it like barrel weaving because it was like barrel racing and pole bending like in one kind, kind of. Um, what else do they do? They had like the trapeze. Like, what, it's not trapeze, but like they had... Um, uh, the ribbon. The, yeah, the ribbon that came down from the ceiling and the people were like flying around in, on the ribbon. It was really cool. But yeah, highly recommend they if you ever find yourself. Riders. Yeah, they had trick riders. That looked really cool. I think I'm going to get. Race? Yeah, I want to get, I want to get a trick saddle now or I want to get a vaulting saddle or I'll just get both because it looks really fun and why not? I mean, at this point I do everything else so I might as well. <laughs> But so now we found a mountain slide and it's only 7.45 and the horse is already fed. So while we're here, we're gonna go do the mountain we're slide. We're making a U-turn in Dollywood. Yeah. Oh, watch the oncoming traffic, mom. I am. Okay, she's gonna cause an accident. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> and so yeah, let's go slide down a mountain. <laughs> Does that not look like the most fun thing ever? Oh, and there's more. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be fun. Austin Andes and I made my mom stop. So yeah, I got myself a jackhammer. Hey everyone, it is Saturday morning. It is Saturday morning and Jax and I and Lily and I have dressage and show jumping today. First up will be both of their dressage and then we'll do show jumping afterwards. But um, Jax is first to go, so let's get him tacked up and head down to the ring. this morning but we were able to work through it a little bit and it got much better as the test went on and I'm very happy with ow, how he let me ride him um, during the test and kind of help him calm down a little bit but 
onto his favorite parts, which is our jump phases, and I'm super excited. So now it is time to get Miss Lily ready for her dressage test. And our goal for her will be to just put in an accurate, happy, quiet, relaxed test. That's it. That's all I want is an accurate, happy, relaxed test. So we'll see if we can do that. Let's go. dressage test she stayed in the gate that I wanted her to stay in all four feet stayed where they were supposed to we had no bucking um, so I'm super happy with her she ended up getting a 32 and is currently sitting in fourth place which is pretty good I'm pretty happy with that and fingers crossed we can just hold on to that and move up the leaderboard but now it's time to go out and show jump jacks so we'll see how he does i have not done a show on him in two months so we will see how this course goes let's go Jax was super good at show jumping. We just had one down in the first combination. It was the vertical going out. I really think he just didn't realize how high it was. But other than that, once he realized how high it was, he jumped everything super well. I'm really happy with him, especially for this being his first time back in two months. But now it's time to show jump Lily and see if we can hang on to our top five position or improve it. So let's go. she had a double clear round this was definitely her best show jumping round to date I'm so proud of her and how rideable she was she moved up to third place overnight heading into cross country which is I'm just over the moon with I hope we can hold on to that so it is time for us to go to sleep and get some rest before cross country tomorrow so I will see y'all tomorrow mom decided to go exploring up the hill and we found a massive like worship area. Oh, now we're going up the person's driveway. Okay, because that's smart. Okay, but look, it's like, what's the freak? Mom, you are at somebody's house. What is that though? It's, it's got a circle, oh, it's gotta be a Catholic thing maybe. Cause see, there's a statue there's up a, there. And then there's a massive mansion right there. We're probably gonna get shot. Maybe it's but. not, maybe it's a resort. Who knows? Hey, the gate was open. <laughs> <laughs> they were, I'm not trespassing they were basically though. inviting us. That's crazy. We can just play lost. It's okay. We figured we, we figured out what it is. It's this place. Interesting. 
it is Sunday morning, which is cross country day, and we have Jack's first in the intermediate, and then we have Lily in the beginner novice. It is like 6.30 in the morning, and we are headed to the barn to get the tack, and I'm going to walk the cross country course one more time. Well, not walk it, but bike it one more time and make sure I know where I'm going. So let's go head out on that cross country course. Okay, we are ready for cross country. They're currently running the novice and then we will start after them. There's Jackson, he's got his boots and his studs and saddle and everything on and he's ready to go. He's just taking his pre-run nap um, and you can see somebody running the novice right there. But yeah, so we're just waiting a couple more minutes until I can get on and head down to warm up. So let's go run some cross country. courses yet so I'm definitely gonna go home and work on that but he as you can tell enjoyed himself and had a lot of fun and I'm super happy with him and he ended up finishing in second and he also ended up winning the thoroughbred incentive program so that is just fantastic I'm over the moon with him and then little miss Lily it is her turn to go cross country so let's tack up and head out I'm definitely glad I dropped her down to the beginner novice though because she definitely needed to learn how to go um, up and down hills and I think the novice would have just been a little bit too much for her but we will be back in August and I will put her in the novice then and I'm super excited but I could not be any happier with her. Um, she was in the top three before cross country so she's no lower than third but I will let y'all know as soon as I know um, how she placed, but now it's time to pack up and get ready to go home. We are leaving the hotel. Mom almost forgot clothes in the closet, but yours truly over here is a genius and remember. Okay, so we have made it home back to sunny Texas with Mr. Jackson here. Um, and he has had a nice roll. We've taken everything, unloaded everything out of the trailer. Um, but 
now it is time for me to sign off and get some more homework done. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'm going to be posting videos once a week on Fridays at noon, so stay tuned for that. He's itching his ear. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. But always remember to dream big, work hard, and with God, anything is possible. See you next time. Oh,